So I mean, want to like, sort of do it here and actually so everybody else. Really, what we did with the, and we're very happy with Touchpad coming out. What we did with Touchpad is we took the WebOS that we had that we launched on the free products and really expanded it for the larger screen. So really you, could, you could tell just just looking at the cards as you're going through. Each of these cards is a live application. So you've got we have things like Kindle. You've got a picture viewer. We've got applications. And one of the things that's very interesting about how we do WebOS to go through is we allow you to go through and really manage your cards so much like papers on a table. So you move the ones that are important or like together, you group them. Other ones you can pull apart or if it's not as important, you just you can throw them aside. If I'm going through here an email, I'll just go through, pick this one, I can forward it. A forwarded email acts as a new card so I can have multiple draft messages. I'm no longer stuck to actually have to work an email as a serial piece where I go up and down and move back and forth on it. Everything's coming into one place. And since I have the email up right now, one of the things you can notice, this is our keyboard we have on it. We focused on the ability that you could type anything without having to change the view. So really, for the most what you're gonna do, we have all of the all the letters and numbers in one view on it. So you don't have to go back and forth. If you want to, you can go to all the characters. We've got some of the, the additional level characters and emoticons, so it's more of a fun thing or odd or not often used characters, but really going back and everything can be done in one place. So it's much easier to type. I don't have to switch between two of them. And we also have it for different people, different form factors. So all you do is you hold the keyboard button. This is in the large view. I can go down to an extra small if I want to see more things. So my keyboard varies based on what you want to have, really size of keys versus screen capacity. Other things on here is I go back to the card view. You see you have all the cards. You can stack them in whatever order. Or if I decide that I want the, the email itself to be its own separate card to work on it later, I can bring that out as well. You don't have to have like items in each stack. So if I wanted to, I could take the Kindle application, bring it over and add it to my photos, either before or behind it. So really, a lot of what I use this for, and I've actually been doing it all this week, is I would pull Google Maps up. I'll pull up, um, actually I've been using TripAdvisor, um, so I can get looking for restaurants I want to have, have the map on it, have the phone number I need to call for the restaurant, and leave it in the side for the day. When it comes around 8 o'clock so I can go get a table before I lose one, um, I can go there and have all that information piled together. So really trying to make it so it works the way you do. It's your data stored how you want to, and it's a fairly intuitive interface on it. So one of the other areas we looked at when we went to when we went to the tablet is we really wanted to bring photos to life. So we have a concept called Synergy. Synergy we've used in the past, it allows you to take multiple emails, so Google, Exchange, Yahoo, whatever it would happen to be, and get them into a single view. And if you have contacts, we actually would go through and merge the contacts into a one view. So I'm talking to you, I'm not talking to you on Yahoo or you on Google. All your personal data that I, that's, I have access to, I can see in one place. Same concept is what we did in photos. So in photos, I have photos on the device. I also have photos that I have up on Facebook. So I can go through and scroll through the thumbnails in the film strip mode, or I can tap into it, go in full screen. And in case this is Facebook, all I do is tap on it. I can actually go access the Facebook um, comments. I can add new comments on it, so I can bring up the, 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 go through and bring up the keyboard. And one of the wonderful things with being HP, we've hooked this up so I can go directly from photos or email or any other applications on it, hit print, and what this will do is allow me to access any of the network printers that I have. And we actually are supporting the last five years of HP network printers, so there's something in the tens of millions of them we've been shipping. Um, and it allows you to print directly to it, or if you're not on the network, you can actually go and use our ePrint services, and that allows you to print anywhere. Some other areas we've got on here, again, going through on the browser itself. Let's see how good I'm on the network here. And I'll just jump over time. On our browser, we actually have a hardware accelerated browser. So we actually, it's a WebKit browser. It has portable HTML5 as well as Flash. And I'm hooked onto the network here, which everybody's on right now, so I'll see how fast I'm gonna go. It uses 802.11 um, BGNN. 
And as you're going through this, basically, did I pick one as my flash content? Going through time, it actually will let you scroll through it. You have the ability to pinch and zoom. We also have the ability, if you double tap, we'll go into, as I finish loading the page, we'll go into the columns so you actually can read everything on here. This is set up so it'll actually go into the portrait or landscape. Everything, everything you want to have to actually view this on the device. And one of the interesting pieces we had, we have a technology called Touchstone Technology. Um, actually, you sort of see here, this is actually a charging dock. So as you place the place the touchpad onto the dock, it actually will go through charge. Which is not plugged in right now. Did you give me that phone back? Ah. But one of the other things we use for the touch technology is the ability to go through and actually transfer data. So in this case, all I do is touch my phone to the device, and if my internet comes up, it will actually transfer the URL from the device to the phone and also transfer the phone back to the device. What did we see for this? Really, part of what HP brings to it is having all your devices. I'm going, if I'm going and going out to the store, I want something small so I can carry my phone around. If I come home and I want to just read something on the couch, I can actually do it on the touchpad. So really transferring data, really making your life move around from the different devices is really a core part of where we're going. You can see it's got the same pages we're going from the two sites. So, so how, does it, how does it work? So we actually have, so Touchstone allows, we have inductive coils allow us to transfer without having wires on it. And we have a coil around the center button here, and we also have one in the back, one for charge and one for data transfer. So you have to touch the specific location? No, I, well you actually, well you, With the phone. yeah, in a special yeah. location, yes. Okay. But again, this is the same thing for the phones. This is the charging you see by the light. As you set it on the dock, it will actually start charging it. We also have a concept on it called exhibition. And what exhibition is, and I don't have it. What exhibition is, and I'll pull it off of my beer. Exhibition is a mode we have on the device. And I'll just bring it up and show it to you that we actually have. Let's start it. It allows you to go through, and right now this is really simple, it's just a clock. I also can go through, and if I want to have Facebook, it'll pull up my latest Facebook post and actually give me information about it. If I'm on, I'm not on the network, so let's try Agenda View. Same type of thing. I've got different modes, and this is really a canvas we're providing to developers. And what it allows you to do is, as a developer, you can, we, we know where the docks are. So with Touchstone 2 technology, I know my dock is a kitchen dock, or it's in my, where I may want to have recipes come up. It's in the living room where I may want to have a slideshow. It's in the bedroom where I may want to have a clock. So you can actually assign your dock location, and as you put the device in it, whether it's work or home, you can have different applications come up on automatically. So really, while you're charging, the device is useful. Um, whether you want to have a picture frame or whether you want to have it as bringing your content to life. So do you guys have questions? And can we transfer data from the tablet to the frame? Yeah, actually, you can, right now we're showing URLs that we're transferred back, so whether you're using maps or whether you're using web pages back and forth. But you can see that it can be easily extended, and as we get close to launch, we may talk about more capabilities of it. But really wanting to show the, the URL transfer that I can go through, and in this case, I just transferred this, the, the URL of the web page so I could carry it with me when I go to finish reading my article. But you it, can, does go, it does go both ways. Yeah, it does go both ways. Yes. And, uh, between the two pre devices. Uh, so right now, it's, right now we have pre three and Touchstone. And we've okay. designed it. The, the uh, beer device we haven't put the Touchstone two technology yet at this point. And two pre devices. When I touch one, um, we just other. designed it right now okay. between the two. Okay. okay. I get it. It's really trying to go form factor, form factor. But you can see it is a. It's also a capability used for pairing. So if you have Bluetooth on and you tap a device together, it will allow you to initiate a pairing and ask you what you would like to do with it. The back of it? Do you want to see the back of it? Yeah, I want to take a picture. Okay. We could use a clock, but I got one. Ah, yeah, that, that would be good. <laughs> so the device itself is made out of, we have, the front of it is Gorilla Glass, and we have a special coating on it to make it so you can easily wipe it off. So it's just one or two wipes to get everything onto it. This is the back of it. You say HP. No, just a second. <laughs> Same thing on the front. Thank you. Here. 
Just the back again. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So, what buttons are on the device? Buttons. So from a button's point of view, you have volume on the side. You also have a power button on the top of it. Other, yeah. Other ports in place. You have a three and a half millimeter jack. This is actually done. So the both the jack and also the stereo speakers on the top are. We actually are working with the Beats audio team from HP to allow us to go through and hook the Beats headphones and have what we're bringing to laptops brought onto the tablet itself. So you've got a great experience. You actually can have the again because we've got the full array of sensors. You can have it so the the volume of the speakers are going up. Or how I like it is if you have a wood desk on it, you can actually have it on a dock where it's going down and reverberating on the desk to break sound. Mm -hmm. And there's a camera. Right? There's a front-facing camera. This is a 1.3 megapixel camera, and we actually um, we've shown some examples of us working with Skype on some some projects showing how to have a Skype call on it. And on the bottom, you actually have a U micro USB port. This allows you both if you want to have charging that's not going inductively, and also it acts as a flash drive. So you have full access to the 16 or 32 gigabytes we have on the device. Mm -hmm. And that's the docking station. Uh, also allows some communication, for example, audio, uh, connecting some uh, speakers. So there's um, this docking station is just for charging, but the capability is in the touchstone, the touchstone technology that could be used for that capability. Yes. Can we say the little, the little one? Yes, as I put it in my, my ear. As I figure out which pocket I put it in, because it's small enough that I... Here we go. Actually, the nice thing about it is, I mean, honestly, where you're going, so it's... This is a full-featured smartphone. You actually have... I mean, it's got... It's, it has an 800... It has an 800 megahertz processor on it. Um, so it's almost twice the capacity of the original Pre. Yeah. You have the ability on here. Let's go over here in the Happy Games. You have the ability to go on here. I've got Need for Speed on it. So you can go let's start this guy up. So let's load our game. And I'll restart my race. So what we have is, so again, the same sensor. So you've got an accelerometer on here so you can steer. Nice. I'll have my so game go up. Uh, I'll do my volume up on it. Promise. So you're going through and you've got the basic game go through. <laughs> and I'll play with it. And you're going to see me picture you. I need to catch up with them. So you actually go through and with it being WebOS, it allows us to go through. <laughs> with it being WebOS, it allows us to go through and pause it in place. And it's got multitasking and everything. Yeah, everything. So, I mean, it's a full feature smartphone, and basically, we designed it. We, it was really it was a design choice. We wanted the full features, but we wanted the fit in your pocket to have room. So, again, it's got a full keyboard on it. It's really as we're going through. Um, we've been building keyboards for the last 10 years on this. Um, wonderful keyboard where we're going. We have some targeting technology, also the tactile feel of what we're doing with it um, to really give you a, a great feel. Bring it anywhere you're going to go. And again, this is the same as any other WebOS device, like I can on my, as I'm going through on the tablet. You still have the same ability to stack cards, move things around, manage your workspace, everything in its place. How, how big is the screen? Um, it is a 2.6 inch screen. And this is going to have 8 gigabytes of flash on it. What kind of screen? Uh, it's a TFT, what is it, 24 bit? But it'll be 2. How about screen resolution? The screen is a 320 by 400 screen from Pixel, Pixel Count. VGA? Uh, it's a TFT, it's VGA. It's actually not real VGA because it's a 320 by it's a 320 by 400, so it's a custom size. Can I take a picture of the back when it's open? Well, it's got a two. It's it's got a dual CPU, so it's a, a dual core, 1.2 gigahertz. So it's definitely spent a lot of time with it. But it's got it's got very good physics, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And what are the buttons on the device? Excuse me. The buttons. The buttons. Oh. So again, you've got metal buttons for volume. Yeah. Excuse me, please. <laughs> I'm happy to. I'm happy to show it to you. But you've got your volume buttons on it. You have a lanyard.
ethernet connector, you have your SIM, so this is a, a UPM, UMTS version of it. You have a ringer, silence ringer, so you actually can silence the phone just by clicking the ringer. You have a power button. We have a connector for both for headphones on it, so you actually can have side headphones on the device and also for charging. So there's no. It's a magnetic connector for it. Yes. Yes. Okay. And on the back, you have a five megapixel camera. Okay. In addition to the fact it has, it has dual mics with noise cancellation on it. Optional extra. It is not working, but it's not enabled. I don't think. I don't know if we have actually said that or not. And it charges in that orientation and in that orientation. Okay.